What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 7 mostly in this video here today and I will be talking about Maxine briefly as well. I wanted to start this off by saying that the rap has more or less reported that Jenna Ortega is committed to Scream 7. That does not mean that she is signed on. However, I know some people have actually reached out to me and told me that she signed on prior to the strikes apparently and like i mentioned if you recall my chris landon video i said the plan was for all of the core four to be back chris landon would be directing radio silence would be producing and i did mention that the returning stars were including josh segura hayden pantier as well but that wasn't including nev at the time however then stuff came out that makes me think that Nev Campbell also has already been attached and secured. Her behaviors also have me thinking that she's already signed on to the dotted line. We know 100% that she was negotiating. But the rumor of part of this report is that apparently Jenna signed on prior to the strikes. But we'll see how true that is. But according to the rap, she is committed to Scream 7. Where is that coming from? It's coming from this excerpt, and I'll leave a link to the article in the description. For those of you who saw my tweet, you know where it's coming from. I actually just go ahead and put the image up on the screen here. But in the excerpt, it says Rachel Zegler could find herself torn between her duties shooting Snow White for Disney and promoting the Hunger Games Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes for Lionsgate. Warner Brothers may have to race to finish Beetlejuice 2 because of Jenna Ortega's commitment to the second season of Wednesday or Scream 7. Now, where are they getting that from? They're getting it from an executive that was talking to the rap about the post strike duties that studios are going to be on top of. So this executive was letting them know about what was going to happen once these strikes are all said and done, referring to the actors at this point, because the WGA, they're done. But Jenna Ortega's commitment to Scream 7 was highlighted in this report. So it appears you can stop worrying about if she's going to appear or not. However, what capacity will we see her in? Keep in mind, yesterday I put out a video saying that an extension of the video I did a few days prior is that there are three versions prepared for Miss Ortega. There's one where she's back as a co-lead, one without her at all, and one where she has a limited role. Now the limited role again is what I've been told they are committing to. That does not mean that they are going to not change it to being back full time if her schedule allows then so be it she'll be back full time the report of her not being in it i don't think i saw anyone say she would not be in it besides my time to shine thinking it was unlikely that she'd be in it and saying that scream 7 wasn't a priority to her but this report from the rap who is talking to reputable insiders seems to suggest otherwise so Jenna Ortega, one of her commitments is Scream 7. Paramount also, I will throw this in th throw this in here for you guys. I've been told Paramount's top priority right now once the strikes are over, I guess in the horror department, is Scream 7. Makes sense. But I I'm, I'm surprised it wasn't Smile 2, to be, to be quite honest. But I guess, one of, I guess one of their top priorities would be Scream 7. But that goes without saying. Jenna Ortega committed to Scream 7. What do you think about that? What do you want to see from Miss Ortega in Scream 7? What do you want to see from Tara Carpenter, I should be saying? And I will stress this. Just because she's mentioned as being committed to Scream 7 does not mean that she is going to be featured in the film full time featured in the film as the lead it does not mean that she won't be in the opening kill sequence i saw that being the assumption most likely that's still obviously up in the air she could still very much so die in the opening sequence anybody could die in the opening sequence the only person that you could write off the list of dying in the opening sequence i think safely 100 percent sydney prescott sydney prescott is not dying in the opening sequence gail sam chad mindy tara gail i mean i meant to say kirby there all of those people they are fair game sydney though done she's she's not she's not up for discussion with the opening she could be in the opening sequence but she won't be the opening kill not a chance not a chance not after the debacle of what went on with scream six even if there was an inkling of them that wanted to do that they're not going to bring her back in that capacity but jenna ortega we know that one of her commitments is scream seven not too shocking and we don't have to worry about her skipping scream seven for now it looks like we're in the clear so far according to the rap and what they've been getting information from from those reputable sources 
So again, let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. Do you not care? I did want to also address one of the casting rumors that were going around because this loops into what I'm going to get at with Maxine. Shout out to Craven Something Scary for pointing this out. But apparently Sophie Thatcher from Yellow Jackets, and most of you might be more familiar with her. If you don't watch Yellow Jackets, you probably remember her from the Boogeyman earlier this year. Sophie Thatcher apparently is being eyed for a role in Scream 7. Now, she's not as of now from what i have been able to go and dig into locked in or anything uh she may have auditioned but apparently according to craving something scary sophie thatcher is being eyed for a role in scream 7 based on her work in the boogeyman i wouldn't mind seeing sophie thatcher in scream 7 not at all but i'm going to use this to then segue into what i do know what's going on with sophie thatcher and that's related to the maxine crumbs i want to share in this video so maxine has a cast member named Sophie Thatcher that we just got done talking about who apparently is being eyed for Rolling Scream 7. Sophie Thatcher earlier this year put this up on her Instagram story. She put up the license plate behind the scenes still of the image that was posted when the first day of Maxine, I believe, was commencing. And so people started speculating, is Sophie Thatcher in the film? Because she didn't actually follow up on this in any way. But I can 100% tell you that she is in the movie. If you've been following my Twitter, you saw I put out a lot of tweets about this yesterday. Sophie Thatcher is in Maxine. She's in the film in a very small capacity. Don't expect her to be anything grand. Mostly, I would expect a cameo. She's going to appear as a special effects makeup artist who I guess is on board of the horror sequel that Maxine is going to be starring in. Some other tidbits about... Maxine I want to touch on is related to Moses Sumney's character so Moses Sumney for people who still want crumbs about Maxine Moses Sumney apparently he is going to be Maxine's best friend in the film he is also someone who has a lot in common with characters like Kirby Mindy Randy and Tatum notice the trend there a lot of those characters love horror that's going to be his thing. Not that he is a horror horror film lover, but he loves movies. Or at least he has something about him that is going to be in line or remind you of those characters. I also know that apparently he works in a video store in the film. And Maxine lives above said video store in an apartment that she's renting or some space that she's renting. And they're going to be best friends. There's a little bit of flirtation I, I, I was told is going on between them in the movie where they're kind of teetering the line of are they going to get together? Or are they not? But I was also told that his character is gay. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification. You can never miss a video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.